Hi and welcome to the sixth series of the show. I'm Terry Rogers. And I'm Ali Pinnock and have we got some exciting news for you. The team is ready to board a jet to show you more of what's up down under. That's right, we're swapping our kangaroo for a kiwi and heading to New Zealand. So join us as we cross the ditch <laughs> to show you more of what's up down under. It was ridiculously exciting getting thrown in the deep end with What's Up Down Under. The first overseas trip that What's Up Down Under have done. Um, it was really, really exciting. Ali, how good was that flight? Terry, it was so good. I can't believe it was an overseas mm. flight. It felt quicker than Melbourne to Perth. It did, it did. But now that we're here, we've got business to attend to. Wheels. Jayco, here we come. Let's do it. <laughs> Jayco is known around the world, so picking up a couple of Jaycos in New Zealand was easy, thanks to South Auckland Caravan Centre, one of thousands of Jayco dealers worldwide. Being a newbie to caravanning, I decided to let Ali drive the Jayco Conquest Motorhome, which is a great way to get into caravanning and still travel in style, while I towed the Jayco Silverline. Our Jayco journey takes us to the North Island of New Zealand, where we landed in Auckland and headed to the country setting of Miranda. From there, we travelled to the coast and took in the beauty of Bowen Town Beach. Then it was inland to the thermal attractions of Rotorua. We then made it over to the west coast and the famous surf beaches of Raglan before heading back up to Auckland and eventually home to Australia. From Auckland we had one more stop to pick up our Nissan Navara, a great vehicle for towing, courtesy of Nissan New Zealand and we were then on our way to the Miranda Holiday Park, a member of Family Parks. The Miranda Holiday Park, believe it or not, is an hour, only an hour from Auckland CBD, yet you feel like you're a world away. And to be greeted by like a palm tree lined road and well manicured gardens and grounds says a lot about the park and you get a bit of a sense of relief because you know that the park owners take pride in the place. It felt like, yeah, this is gonna be a really cool home away from home. We caught up with park managers Paul and Trish Boudere to find out why this park is such a special place. So guys, you're part of the Family Parks group. What are the benefits of that for yourselves and also for the guests that come in? It's good being in part of that group because you're always uh, getting information on, on what's happening in other parks. You can always phone and say we've got Mr Guess and Mrs coming. Smith here yeah. and they would like to come to you next, what have you got available and it's yeah, really good communication. The fact that it's in the country is absolutely wonderful and we've got wonderful outlooks all around. It's one hour, approximately one hour from Auckland. <laughs> and that's the advantage of being one hour from the airport to here yeah. and one hour on the way back. This park has a variety of accommodation and caters to just about any situation. We've got cabins, we've got chalets, um, which are one bedroom chalets, we've got two bedroom chalets, which will sleep up to seven, up class uh, apartments, which will sleep five to six, and we've just developed um, a new area at the front here so you can get new powered tent sites, which we've never had before. And if you have a larger caravan like us, Paul has several sites that make it easy to get in and out. We've got uh, drive through sites where you get lots of uh, fifth wheelers coming. Like all family parks, there's plenty of activities for the family. I've got tennis court, we've got table tennis courts, we've got safe trampoline for the children. Patonk. Patonk. BMX um, track. There's so much to do in Miranda, you could stay for weeks and only scratch the surface. Well, they can take day trips to the Coromandel. There's fishing, great fishing out here. When you get here, you feel as though you are away from the city, but in actual fact, Close to markets, local yeah. markets. We've got Annie in the shed up the hill, and there's also an antique shop there. And we have the Bugger Cafe, which is heading towards Thames. And for those who like to bring the entire family, 
We have a special pet friendly area um, at the entrance to the park. And when you just want to relax and enjoy the natural hot springs of Miranda, you don't have to go too far. We have our own mineral hot pool right here. Look at that. Which is great, and the people just love it. They've just got to come and see it. I mean, it's, it's, it's an experience they can't really miss. If you want to find out more about this park or any other family park, just log on to their website, familyparks.com.au.